All right, class, we are going to look at, uh, we're going to download a um, calculator here. And we're just going to share this calculator with Excel and subsequently Dropbox. Let's see if this opens up for us. So let's just duplicate this. But I'm just going to call this resistance calculator. So I want to go down here to Ohm's law. And let me call this resistance calculator number three. And I have some other ones in there that I really need to delete. Yeah, this should be in there. So let me just get rid of this one. Just to eliminate any kind of confusion, not only for you, but for me. So we have our resistance calculator there. You see, the first thing that we want to do, we're in resistance. Uh, we, are, we want to look at a resistor that is one kilo ohm. So we're going to put that into a simulator and we're going to find the values for the currents here. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and find our simulator. Ah, oh, there it is. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to create a folder, okay? And let's just go to this plus sign, and I'm going to call this folder. Okay, so let me call, you know what, cancel first, cancel. This is the first thing we want to do. We want to go to settings here. And that's this cog wheel or gear, not a cog wheel, but gear. And instead of storing this on the iPad, let's store this in Dropbox. And we're going to add storage. So you'll see that I'm already connected to Dropbox. When you add storage and you pick Dropbox, you'll see that I'm already there but you'll need to sign in, okay? So I'm just gonna cancel that. And I wish that I could set a different kind of um, folder, but you know, it's fine. I'm gonna choose dark mode, okay? And I think that'll be enough. So I'm gonna say done. And so in this particular folder, I'm just going to create a new circuit. And you'll notice down here at the bottom, just uno momentos. Down here, we have our DC source, ground, and we have resistors. We have a whole bunch of things here. We actually have a meter on the side here. I can get rid of that meter. I'm gonna go ahead and bring a battery up here. And I just want to battery around. And yeah, that'd be good. And let's bring up a resistor. And let's just rotate this one around as well. So let's connect these two. The way you connect them is you select on something that's not highlighted and you just bring up a wire. You can do the same thing on this side. I'm just gonna select on what's not highlighted and bring up a wire. One of the other things that I do wanna do, let me see, I think I want, right here, you see how it says current dots, conventional. I want mine to follow the electron flow path. Right now, it's flowing towards the negative plate, it should flow towards the positive plate. 